When I first saw Rocket League, I wasn't too sure about it. Then I played it for myself, and while I didn't enjoy other players' attitudes, the one thing that really made me upset was the awful loot crate. Of course, there's always someone who will say that so long as the loot crates are for cosmetics only and are reasonably priced, the offense is not too great. But cosmetics in Rocket League are what sets other players apart. To me, there seems to be only two goals in the entire game, either to become a rocketeer or to look as awesome as possible. So therefore, the loot crates hold some things that have a lot more value for both money and personal decisions for this game in particular. There is now a game mechanic that stops you from gaining experience from these situations that I have noticed. If your opponent forfeits, regardless of how many goals you have scored, assuming you have scored a negligible amount of goals as compared to your teammate, minimum score has not been reached by one person in a match that is one versus one, such as if you or your opponent have made no goals on each other and have played very defensively. I am in no ways a great or even a good Rocket League player. I know the ball shouldn't go into my team's goal and that I should keep my eyes on the ball and my teammates. There are times when I can't get those simple rules correct. So for any chance of my level going up from where it has currently stagnated, I would somehow have to become more skilled at the game. Without gaining experience, I cannot get any new cosmetics thanks to the new rocket path. I could trade away my dwindling supply of items that are actually tradable, but those have to have some sort of worth to another player. I have also had the misfortune of other players forfeiting the match. Before this update, it didn't matter if people left. Now if they do, I won't even gain experience points for what I did. And in some cases, my teammates will leave me to defend myself against the opponents in the now competitive version of Hockey and Rumble. So not only is there an unfair advantage for the opposite team, I cannot gain new team members. I think this new update is inherently flawed. I have never left a match before it finished, and I certainly don't play in a manner that seems like I'm not putting any effort into the match. Like I'm only moving just enough so I won't be kicked. I wish that both Rumble and Hockey were not placed in the competitive tab. It severely limits my playtime and abilities. If I want to have a good time, I don't even want to go near my two favorite modes. I used to use those modes to relax after tough matches in the casual tabs. Now I can't do that for fear my teammates will leave me either intentionally or because of internet issues. There are times when I want to play well in the game, and there are situations in which I just want to play around and not really worry about winning every single match that initiates. Sometimes I want to win, and other times I just want to have fun. I never purposely try to lose, but there is definitely a more relaxed feeling to just boosting my car around a tiny field against an awkwardly sized ball or puck. On a side note, I really wish that the game would change how the announcer mentions a goal if the ball is a puck. Unfortunately, there is only feedback that I can give concerning loot crates. They're not bugs, so I can't submit a ticket. I despise gambling. I think it's ridiculous that some gaming companies refuse to believe that loot crates are not gambling, and I'll never buy those optional, pointless crates. I don't even want to open them, as your chances for getting an item that is worthwhile and not an untradeable duplicate is slim. While it is possible to trade or obtain some of the items within the loot crates, the chances of gaining the objects of your desire are also low. I don't want to have to go on the black market to pay for someone to give me what I want. I don't want to buy keys either, or trade them for real money. It's a hassle to figure out what people want, or even what they're saying when trading with them. Despite the loopholes of not paying for loot crates, I'd rather just earn everything by merit instead of by paying or trading with someone. Or by using the Rocket Pass for members, which lets those who have expendable income have all the items they want, plus extra experience points. As leveling up can, and usually will, get you some sort of new or painted item, those who cannot or do not wish to spend money on top of what they paid for the game itself get only a few items for their cheapness, their frugality. 
Perhaps a crate key if they play for an exceptionally long time before the timer runs out. So not only do the prizes have a time limit, but they're so bare compared but they're so bare compared to the higher tiered rocket path that it's just frustrating thinking about it. As if that wasn't bad enough, you're paying for the current rocket pass. There is no someone nice one-time fee. You must keep paying to receive the extra nice things. Ultra rare decals, new cars that cost money, even without rocket pass. This is just buy Hot Wheels and their many accessories. The game. If this was downloadable content, I would be slightly less upset about this monetary mess. But the developers of the game, or whoever put this forth, aren't happy enough, or paid enough, to be satisfied with the gains from the purchase of the game itself. There must be more microtransactions. I could even accept the idea of paying once to get Rocket Pass forever, and then never again. Maybe it could be a nice way of saying that not only do I really like the game, I want to pay the developers again to show my appreciation. But I don't appreciate this. I don't like it, and I feel that it is highly unfair.